Hi guys, it's Bridge from Reviews Challenges Build, and today I'm going to do a review on hand saws and other utilities you want to buy with your hand saw. So let's start. Here I have a Irwin Marathon hand saw. It's a very good hand saw. It cuts good. At the end, I'll show you what what I did. I made a project with this hand saw too. At the end, I'll show. At the end of the video, I'll show that. The grip, oh my god, the grip is amazing, amazing. It cuts good, but sometimes when you start cutting, right, you have to like, you have to start a grip like this, and then you cut as fast as you can. So here they run marathon, and by the way, when you get it, you wanna, you wanna keep the cardboard thingy on, what they call it, this cardboard box, you want to keep it because you don't get the scale to protect it from from getting from getting your blade dull. So here's the Urban Marathon. Let's start with the Mastercraft handsaw. This I didn't use that much, so I know what to expect from this. I did use it over the summer. Uh, it was kind of good and. Not that bad. And with this, you get a scale. Here's the scale. Here's the hand saw itself. You gotta be very careful, I don't cut myself. So here's the hand saw. It doesn't, it doesn't cut that good. It doesn't cut that good, so I don't prefer this hand saw. Very weird. <laughs> So, next down, my hands are freezing. So guys, I'm gonna put on my gloves because it's not summer. It's winter right now in Canada. So let me put my warm gloves. So here's the Mastercraft handsaw. I'll talk to you about the price after too. And here I have a quick square. This is a very good quick square. It's not metal, but still, it's hard plastic. It can't break as easy. This helps me a lot in my toolbox when I put it. It's not in my toolbox, but I hang it up here. So, this, I love the, like, how you can make angles with it and stuff. I love this quick square. So, you want to buy your quick square as well if you don't have one, too. Shows you everything. Next is car painter pencils. Yeah, here are car painter pencils. I bought six. One, two, three, and four, and five, six. These are five right now. I owe you. I owe you a used one. Trust me, guys. This has lasted for. This has lasted about. A year now and still I'm not done with it because I don't do that much lining and stuff I don't need to so sometimes I just just use a regular pencil why <coughs> six of these so let's go on the pricing so I'll start with the hands so I'll start with these car painter sticks car painter pencil I mean this one of one each is thirty nine cents. Plus, yeah, thirty nine cents. No tax added. The quick square for eleven dollars, and I'm not gonna go for the cents because I don't know how much exact the cents were. Eleven dollars. This plus tax, and this was for twelve dollars. I'm not gonna go. Once again, I will tell you the total, but not in cents, just in dollars. Here we go. Aaron Marathon, $24 plus tax. In total, I still remember 60 for the hand saws and the car painter pencils. 60 yeah, included the tax. And then for the quick square, 60 plus 11 is about 71. Yeah, I think so. Yes, 71. Yeah, 
It costed me $71. Very good price though. The Mastercraft saw was on sale. And the Quick Square. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Oh! One important thing. What I did is over a couple of months ago, I made a project. I made like this pencil holder, but it's too big. It's about like this big. So, it turned out pretty good, but the, the sides of it weren't that straight because I like in between when I cut, I stopped and then I got a little wiggy. So, here's the product that I made. Go, so it's, I had to cut. I made the bottom, the top, you can see inside of it. Yeah, here we go. So, I was going to do a video on this too, personally, how I made this, but I'm not going to anymore. Besides, I'm just going to go over it in this video. So, this is a very good pencil holder, but guess what? I think in the summer, yeah, I'm not going to do it in the winter. Because it's cold out here and my legs are freezing right now. I'm just going to cut about... How about let's just measure it so I know how much I will cut in the video. So you guys can see. About... I think two to three inches I'll cut. Two or three inches I'll cut from there. And then, in the summertime, I will show you how I did this. It's going to stay the same. So, I'll show you. See you in the next video. Bye. And subscribe to my channel. Comment. If you have any questions, I'll answer them when I have time. And, don't forget to put the thumbs up. Bye. No.